Three years ago, researchers in Washington state identified a chemical derived from a common preservative used in tires. They found it was being washed into freshwater streams with other tire waste, and it was killing salmon before they could spawn. Maggie Stack and her research team at San Diego State found that one, called 6-PPD, but they found a lot more in the tire waste they tested. That a number of chemicals that leached out from these tire particles have not been previously cited as being tire related. And are those chemicals dangerous? We did find that some of the compounds that haven't been previously associated with tires may be toxic. Tire waste is generated constantly as tiny particles get worn off the tires where the rubber meets the road. Those particles, typically measured in microns, are swept into the watershed where they enter streams and ultimately the ocean. Natalie Maladenoff took part in the study of tire wear. Tires can be as little as 20% natural rubber and then the rest is synthetic materials, synthetic rubber and other plastic polymers. So it is truly a, a source of microplastics to the environment. Some of the chemicals researchers found in tire waste that they say may be toxic come from groups of compounds that are proven to be so. Amines, for instance, can damage the embryos of some aquatic life. Um, there it is. Maladenov says exposure to the elements simulated by a device in her lab can cause some of those chemicals to become more dangerous. Under natural conditions, sunlight can convert those compounds that leach out of the particles into new compounds, or what we call transformation products. And those could be even more toxic than the original compounds. The research also showed that the micro size of these tire particles makes them even better at leaching chemicals once they're in the water. So we were finding that smaller particles are more, more potentially more toxic and more dangerous than larger particles. Maladenov and Stack said particles from tire wear is a source of pollution not regulated by the government, at least not yet. But the particles remain abundant in the environment and are virtually invisible to the naked eye. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.